Tunisian dictators Ben Ali's government collapsed during the Arab Spring in 2011 and multi-party democracy emerged in Tunisia. But democracy is not succeed in Tunisia. In this video, we will know the geopolitics of Tunisia and why democracy is not successful in Tunisia. Hi, I am RDN. You are watching Grand Says Board. On 5th July, the Tunisian president Kai Said fired the Prime Minister Hissel Misi and adjourned the parliament. The speaker, Rais Ghanoussi, the leader of Enhada Party, the largest Muslim Brotherhood Party in parliament, called this accident Co. The heart of Tunisia, Ayatar, and Al Karama groups are also calling it a Co. The secular Free Destorian Party, a supporter of formal dictator Ben Ali, has not commented. On the other hand, the sub party, which has 15 out of 216 seats in the parliament, has directly supported the president. People have taken to the state for and against the president. In this context, discussion have begun how successful democracy in Tunisia after the Arab Spring. A Reuters report said the international statement on the Tunisian incident depend on who is for or against the Islamic group. The Western nation, including United States, could not decide what to say about Tunisia. On 26 July, the United States expressed concern over the Tunisian incident and called for stability. However, the incident was not a coup. The United States did not say anything about it. The France France, a formal Tunisian colonial power, has called for the rule of law in Tunisia and called on all political parties to renounce violence. The EU also called on all parties to abide by the constitution to refine foreign violence. A spokesman for the German government told the reporters that they did not want to call it a coup. They said they would talk to the Tunisian ambassador in Berlin. The Ibrisian government called the Tunisian president decision a war on brotherhood terrorist. So the foreign minister, Prince Faisal bin Fahad, called the Tunisian foreign minister and hoped for the security, stability and development in the country. Only Turkey has directly criticized the Tunisian president. A Reuters report say the international statement on the Tunisian incident depend on who is for or against the Islamic group. The Western nation, including United States, could not decide what to say about Tunisia. On 26 July, the United States expressed concern over the Tunisian incident and called for stability. However, the incident was not a coup. The United States did not say anything about it. The France, a formal Tunisian colonial power, has called for the rule of law in Tunisia and called all the political party to renounce violence. In a Twitter message, the Omar Sesik, a spokesman for ruling AK party, called the Tunisian incident a coup. An article in Z Group Media by the US Think Tank Eurasia Group said, the Tunisian people think that the current politicians are as corrupt as the politicians in the previous dictator Ben Ali's government. They have all failed to provide a better life for ordinary citizens as promised by democracy. Politicians have run the country through the Fagil coalition because there are so many parties in parliament, which has resulted in indecision in parliament and economic section in public life. And the people's confidence in whole political system has collapsed. The Tunisian people have been on the state for the past year. The number of the people on the state was the highest in the last decade. The stagnant economy and growing inequality, inadequate public service and decline job opportunities were the main reason for the people's dissatisfaction. Before the epid epidemic began, the youth unemployment rate in Tunisia was 36%. Very naturally, the youth have led the movement. 
The situation has worsened since the corona epidemic began. The tourism is an important part of Tunisia's economy, employing many people. It has completely collapsed due to the pandemic. Thousands of the people from Tunisia are crossing the sea to Italy. The purpose is to find the work in Europe. In 2020, the number of SAS immigrant candidates has increased firefold. In an interview with Vox magazine, the Sarah Warkis, a senior fellow in Carnegie Endowment of International Peace, a youth tank, shouted an explanation for the political turmoil in Tunisia. The Tunisian dictator Ben Ali's government collapsed during the Arab Spring in 2011, and a multi party democracy emerged. The largest party in parliament is Inhada Party, which is only a third quarter of seat, who is basically carry the thought of Muslim Brotherhood, although they got the highest number of the vote in the last decade. They had to go to the coalition to form the government. Opposing them is the Free Desturian Party, a group of supporters of formal dictator Ben Ali who favors the Tunisia's good relationship with France. The party led by Abir Musti is completely secular and completely opposite the Islamic group like Enhada. There is also the Al Karama coalition, who are the Islamic party and they think that Enhada is not Islamic enough and Enhada is not worrying enough about the extent of Islam in the state. President Kwai's side is no longer the part of any party, although he was against the Inhada from the beginning. He is not a part of completely secular parties. In Tunisian politics, the rivalry between Islamic party and comp- completely secular party is important. In Italy, there was a tendency for the parties to form a coalition by compromise. In Italy, there was a tendency for the party to form a coalition by promise, but later the parliamentarian start fighting. That is why the Islamic Islamic group such as that is why the Islamic group such as the Al Karama, an extreme secular group like Free Destroyer, led by Abir Musi, have become important. Geopolitical importance of Tunisia located on the international maritime trade route along the Mediterranean coast is considerable. The geopolitical importance of Tunisia located on the international maritime trade route along the Mediterranean coast is considerable. The Tunisia's importance has grown since the Turkish involvement in Libyan oil. Turkey's conflict with France in particular has accelerated. France, a formal Tunisian colonial power, does not want to see the Turkish influence in Tunisia. That is why it is not a matter of concern for France to take the power of President Kai's side, but it does not want it to see the supporter of Enhada on the state. Here, the, however, the United States and the EU have spontaneously refined from the criticizing side, which is discouraging the development of relationship between Inhada and Turkey. Turkey's intervention in Libya oil was accepted by West but not in Tunisia. After the Arab Spring, it was not Tunisia's so-called democratic success but geopolitical competition that controlled the country